kick off your week by installing your game plan. Hello, everybody. for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And a big face mask penalty here, 15 yards. You never want to get your hands up in the face mask area because your fingers can get tangled up there, and that can hurt you as a player. down he'll drop to throw and complete on the right side it's Tammy that throw good for four it's second down that coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man that's good recognition there and how about what he did after the catch yeah hit your tight end let him get some rack yeah when he when he gets moving not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him do they wide open receiver complete and he is into the zone for a Falcon touchdown. <laughs> Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they won't. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. That one goes for 24 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. They do get nine, but it leads...
Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Take this one across the 45 up to about the 46 yard line. A gain of three, second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Jacob Tammy, there. And it's second down. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Flush to his right. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and they're going to face a third down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted, and we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that, and they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. yardage here. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. As a defender, you're eager to be involved in every play. So when the action goes away from you, a lot of times you run after the ball. But in this case, what a terrific job by the defender staying home and taking care of his responsibilities. Trying to lay one up deep. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. So third and 15 and an extra defensive back in the game now. Flooding the passing lanes. Back to throw. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, 
which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. They go play action here on first down. Tammy's got it, complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Give him 27 yards that time. And that leads to an Atlanta first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They come out here in the eye. Now back to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Their dangerous wide receiver in the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons have taken the lead. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. The Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. They come up in an offset eye. Back to throw now on first down. Surveying the field. Here's Sanu on the catch. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. It's a gain of 24 that time. And it'll be first down Atlanta. In the completion, nice throw, nice catch. But Charles, big thanks goes to the men up front. They allowed the quarterback to throw out of the rocking chair, so to speak. Plenty of time to survey the field and find an open man. Man open left side, it's Williams. That one goes for 24 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. All right, here we go. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Justin Hardy, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has his... now coming out on the field and that last drive a long drive but not just that they had a great air attack going do they stick with that i would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive starting backed up in their own territory why would you change anything they've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so because yeah, the secondary they really look clueless and that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Sunu with a grab over the middle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So deja vu all over again. Another good week. And sometimes maybe, because the defense doesn't look that bad, maybe this is just good offense beating good defense in this case. I like that because... We always want to point out that there's a breakdown or someone made a mistake or there was an error. Sometimes it's exactly as you described it. Sometimes they just made better plays. And that's what he's been doing for the last two weeks. Someone's got to find a way to cover this guy. Otherwise, he may set some records. 
Now a play fake here on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Muhammad. coming out on the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They might have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. Up, here we go. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Complete over the middle to Hardy. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And the offense lining up first and ten. He'll drop to throw. Backing up. Connects with Sanu right side. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So the offense has it first and 10. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. We got three. We got three. Here we go we now. Three. Three, nine, two. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air one out. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. He'll try again with the arm here. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And to the 43. So down inside the 45. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Time for a break. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Looking to throw. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Got a little handsy there, defensive holding, Charles. And defenders will get away with as much as you will allow. The five-yard mark tells the officials where the line should be drawn. All right, here we go. Back to throw now on first down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, 
setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle. He can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's going to go up top for the end zone and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. And he comes back with one complaint. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Now a play fake here on first down. That's caught at the one. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And as the fourth quarter winds down here, we're all even. And no one wants this game to extend. They want to go ahead and win it right now. They come out here in the eye. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. And quickly, they get to the line. And they'll try and burn some clock with a sneak. No gain on the play. And what to do now? Throw. He's got a man complete. The 20, 10, and he's in. Are you kidding me? How do you get that One up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game, and they do win it on the final play. I think it'd be real easy here to focus on maybe a defensive breakdown with that type of a play in this situation. But let's give a little bit of credit here. That type of play is clutch. Boy, it was clutch, but to turn it back to the defense, how crushing is that? You think you've got this thing won? Well, Charles, it's one thing to win.